That's what I'm more, more used to being videotaped than anything. I bet you are. <laughs> You know, I'm glad they have you in the shade, too. Oh, isn't that great? Here's this for you. Thank, Thank you. It was so very much. nice meeting exactly. you. Exactly. Our first day, okay. six hours. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Nice, nice to see you. I'm nice to see you. All right. Okay. How are you? Hi. I'm Hank Kelly Ryan. Nice to see you. Hi, Yuki. I've got your email address, and I can postpone an email. Why? Am I going to be on TV or anything? No. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about it. I'm going to watch it. Ah. Yeah, it's about Macy. She may still be here for a moment. All right, please. I absolutely hate you. Thank you. I mean, really, it's been going on. I don't know. I don't want to make it too long, and I want to get to stay. Well, you know what? Just yeah. email me, and you know, remind me, and uh, we'll figure something out. But I have to tell you the situation. I know, but I'll try to help you. I mean, don't. Right now, I can't really focus. No, right. But if you email me, I'd be delighted. So I can make it lengthy on the email. Oh, okay. I'll read right. whatever you say. Thanks. Remind me that I met you here, okay? Okay, my name is Peggy Malloy. Okay. Just remind me Arlington Town Day. I mean, I will tell you. Okay, that's great. <laughs> And what does she do? Well, she's 46, mm -hmm. and she's successful, and she's single, and she wonders what happens to a reporter who's married to her job when the camera doesn't love her anymore. And she finds... You mean you refer to herself? Well, it's, it's, a, it's fiction. But I mean, you said it, she reminds what happens to a reporter when the camera is off, it doesn't... Is she referring to herself or another reporter? Her. Oh, herself. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, she, and, or, and look, she's looking for a story to, that she thinks will save her job. And she finds that certain computers she feels, fail. Excuse me, she feels insecure in her job? Yeah. Because all TV reporters feel insecure. They do? Oh, because of all the, uh, the it all being like Hollywood type thing? Yeah. yeah. And so she finds uh, certain spam, computer spam, is actually carrying secret messages. So she learns how to decode the secret messages. How does she know it isn't anything illegal? Well, then you have to read the story. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, okay. So is it fiction you wrote? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. And have you written books before? You no, said first time. first one. Oh, that's what you said at the beginning. I'm sorry. And my second book comes out in October. That's nice. And then that must be hard to do that with your schedule. It is. Because <laughs> I heard writing books takes, like, forever. Well, I, I spend all my... Is she writing this? Uh, she's writing a story for the paper. Yeah. She's what? Arlington Advocate. I'm a reporter for the Arlington Advocate. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so that's the story. Yeah. If you're a mystery fan, I bet you would like it. I, well, just give me the information. I'll see. Well, just write down the name. Oh, yeah. no, no, it's you on the street sometimes, huh? Well, um, it's just sort of um. Well, you know, I look different on television than I do in real life. <laughs> and so, um, when I go out with no makeup and with my glasses on, and you know, at the grocery store. Sometimes I'm just out of context. Yeah. So sometimes people, you, I can see people walk by and then they sort of stop and they sort of turn around. Um, but people feel that they're my friend, and I love that. I I, I want people to stop and say hello. Right. So um, it's really it's great. I mean I feel like such a part of the community. Um, so I really embrace when people stop and say hi. Great. And uh, do you frequent Arlington? Um, sure, we come here from time to time. It's not sort of on our beaten path, but it's just one of the most wonderful towns um, in New England. So sure, we love Arlington. Okay, great. Um, I mean, we were talking before about, um, I started reading Nancy Drew yeah. when I was about seven. And I read um, all, all the books, starting with what I thought was the clue in the dairy. And I kept looking for the cows, but then it turned out later it was clue in the diary. So I had just read the whole thing looking for the darn cows, but they weren't there. So I read Nancy Drew, and then I read all the Sherlock Holmes, I mean all the Sherlock Holmes, and Agatha Christie, and I was just obsessed with mysteries. I loved them. Mm -hmm. um, I was sort of a geeky, nerdy kid, not terribly popular, and I didn't have very much fun in junior high or high school. And so books were a way for me to sort of um, realize that I wasn't alone in the world, and they were my friends. Yeah. So uh, I always wanted to be a mystery author, but my career went another way. And But being a reporter is sort of like being a mystery author. You know, you're sort of looking for the bad guys, you're doing research, you're, right. finding, you're telling a story, you're finding the story, you're finding the answers, you're sort of getting justice in the end, looking for justice. So um, it is sort of the same thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only difference, of course, is that uh, in journalism you can't make things up. 
absolutely. Uh, that, that's frowned upon. And then, um, and you also can't kill someone. Mm -hmm. In writing murder mysteries, you do. I mean, you sort of have to. So um, it's, a, it's very different, uh, but I feel I'm sort of in the same world. And so I wanted to write mysteries for ever since I can remember, and I frankly just never had a good idea. And then one day at work, I got a computer spam, a spam, and by mistake, I opened it because generally I wouldn't. And it was what looked like um, a quote from what might be a Shakespearean play. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, what is this? And why would somebody put it in a spam? And that was the idea. That's mm. when I knew I had a good idea. I said, this is my mystery. Um, and ever since then, I was obsessed with writing that story. And I wondered why would someone put a secret message like this in spam? Yeah. And the only way I could figure to get the answer would be to write the story. Great, that's fantastic. All right, um, I think that's all I had to ask you today, actually. All right, well, let me think. Um, I can tell you my next book, FaceTime, yep. comes out in October. Great. Um, and because you have the scoop, hold on. Here it is. Oh, thank you. No one has seen this. This is my author copy, which I will give to you. Thank you very much. Um, no one has this on the planet. Um, except you right now. It <laughs> comes out October the 9th and I, uh, I hope everyone reads it. I love this story. It's again an, a Charlotte McNally mystery okay. um, with all of her friends and some new ones. Uh, and in, in this book she's on, she has evidence that might free a wrongly convicted woman from prison. But the problem is the woman doesn't want her help. So why? Mm. Uh, and that's what Charlotte has to uncover in this mystery. And I'm writing right now the third book, Airtime, okay. which comes out in June. Fantastic. 